Baruch Hashem. Now we're going to start by Ezra Hashem at Barach part one. We'll see about the kina, the jealousy. And uh, I choose this topic because uh, unfortunately it's something everyone has to work on. And uh, no one, no one can say, Rabbi, I'm not jealous. I don't need this class. Every person jealous. Depending in what level is he jealous and depend on what. You tell me I don't care which car you have. Okay, then you're not jealous of my car, but you're jealous of something else. Every person is jealous of something. Some people have cars, some money in your house, your job, your look, your hair, your muscles, your what, name it. But every person is jealous at something. And if a person is not going to work on it, it might get worse till you can't even control it no more. And the Torah says, Midat a person that have this midah of jealousy, man, a woman, doesn't matter. One of the awful things that because of a person is jealous, Chaz Shalom, Shalom is sugalim lachmila zulat. Number one, how do you know if you're jealous or not? The Torah said, Look at you. It's so hard for you to compliment somebody. It's very hard for you. You cannot compliment other people. Why? Because you're jealous at that person. You're a great worker. You're the best boss. you this. you that. I'm happy with the house you have. I'm, ha I'm happy with the new car you bought. Compliment you can't. Why? Because you're jealous what the person have. It's a very bad midah. We're going to see in part two, maybe, or part three. We'll see. But now, to understand this midah, is that hard for you? It's so hard for you to compliment someone. And I'm not going as far as a wife, a husband, anybody. Compliment. doesn't hurt. You don't lose anything. But you can't. You want to, but you can't. At a kanai, at kanait, you're jealous. It's hard for you. Lo mesugalim la set atzlacha. You can't take it that somebody else have a success, have atzlacha. It hurts you. Why she made it? How come he gave her raise and not me? She make more money. He's this. He's that. I don't understand. What do you gain from this jealousy? If my best friend, my brother, my sister, anyone, Baruch Hashem, they make more money by me being jealous of that person. Now I also make more money? What do you gain? What a person gained by being jealous of other people? What do you gain from it? The Torah says it's, it's impossible for you to 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 be happy for this person that he have an atzlacha, and not just that. But yes, af hamemarerim et chayav biglal akina. And some people they are so jealous of you. Oh, I'll make sure you're gonna have a hard time. I'll make sure you're gonna suffer. I'll make sure your life gonna be bitter. Why? What I did to you? Because. Hashem decided to bless me. I have to pay the price. You making my life bitter. People that envy and jealous other people is that bad that you can hurt that person? Yes. Certain level of jealousy, you can actually hurt someone. Why you did it? I don't know. But you hurt the person. Because of you, this person, something bad happened to him. Maybe got fired, maybe lose the job, maybe lose money, maybe the, the friends don't like you no more. Who knows what? Why you did it? I don't know. He deserve it. She deserve it. You can't admit you're jealous. A jealous person can hurt. I'll make sure your life will be bitter. Why? What I did to you, I can't handle it. The jealousy is killing me. Because you just have to pay the price, 
because you're not working on this midah, because you don't improve yourself, work on yourself, get better, stop envy people, because you don't do it, I have to pay the price for it? Oh, this woman, she's so and so, don't be her friend, don't get close to her. This woman, she's evil. Oh, this woman, why you talk bad about this woman? Because you can't stand it. How come everybody loves her? How come everybody loves her? How come everyone loves this guy? You can't take it. So you bash him. You talk bad about him. But really, she did nothing bad to you. This guy did nothing bad to you. But the jealousy kills you. Some people, the Torah said, they don't sleep day and night because they can't. They just can't. Why is richer more than me? Why he makes money more than me? Why people like her more than me? Why this and why that? They can't sleep day and night. You make sure the other person will not have a good life. I'll make your life miserable. Because I'm suffering. Because of you, I'm suffering. It hurts me that you're so successful. It hurts me. Everybody loves you. I can't take it. Where does problem come from? Where? Where does it come from? You can't compliment other people. You can't be happy for other people. You can't take it that people made it. You forget. Maybe you forget, I don't know. Maybe you forget Hashem runs the world. You want to be God? You want to play God? Who you are? You run the world? What are you trying to do? Hashem is the boss. That's it. Accept it. Accept it. God is the boss. He knows who to give money and who to give the glory and who to give Hatzlacha and who to give beauty and who to give beautiful voice and who to... Hashem knows. Hashem knows who to give. So He didn't give you what she have, but He gave you something else that she don't have. Maybe the other person have money more than you. Maybe not as brain as you have. Maybe not as smart as you. You're smarter, but He have more money. Maybe He's better looking, but you're stronger and build better. Maybe this, maybe that. Every person has something the other person don't have. So why you envy other people? It kills you. It bothers you. When you see, you have an expression like an evil eye. And people that have this evil eye, even if they don't mean it, they don't mean to. Wow, nice car the day after tomorrow, the day after this accident. Something happened a week later. They have an evil eye. They're not happy that you really have a new car. They tell you, wow, I'm so happy for you. But really deep inside the person, how did he got it? How you got a new car? From where? They have money? I didn't know they have money. What a beautiful car. I want the same car. I want better cars. Stop. 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 What you get by going crazy? So Hashem gave that person a new house. Hashem gave this person a beautiful car. Hashem gave him Hatzlacha. Hashem gave her money. Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. Say to Hashem, Hashem, God, you know what you're doing. Instead of that, Hashem, you know what you're doing. I'm jealous. I can't take it. Avraham Avinu, how much chesed he did in the world. He was famous. Avraham Avinu with the chesed. And then comes Pirkei Avot and says, Kol mi sheyesh beyado. Whoever has those three things. Who is considered you're going in the path of Avraham Avinu? Ein Tova. Ein Tova. I don't understand. Prekeavot says Avraham Avinu Ein Tova. How come you don't say Avraham Avinu Chesed? The whole world knows Avraham Avinu is a Chesed. Why you say Ain Tova for Avraham Avinu? And the Torah says, Aramchal said, Ki Adam Shehu Tov Ain. 
מיד נפתחים כל שערי הברכה, וגם ממנו נמשך החסד. Small introduction. The Ramchal said, when you have עין טובה, when you're happy for other people, don't try to hurt other people. Don't talk bad about other people. What do you gain from that? You should have עין טובה. Be happy for other people. Be happy that other people succeed in, in bracha and atzlacha and be happy for them. Why? מיד נפתחים, immediately, השם opens כל שערי הברכה. All the gates of ברכה blessed are open for you, but immediately, says the Ramchal, because you have a good eye. You're happy for other people. You're happy that this person got married finally. But what about me? I'm not married yet. Be happy for that person. Don't worry. This guy makes so much money like crazy. And I can find a job. I can't even find a job. And this guy, he racks it in. He makes money like... Stop. Stop. God knows what he's doing. When you're truly happy for other people and you're not jealous, the Ramchal says, Miyad. Immediately Hashem opened the gates of Beracha. Blessing comes to you. But if a person has a good eye, you're happy for other people, and you get the Beracha immediately, so the opposite, when you don't have a good eye, when you're jealous, you envy other people. It hurts you to have a new car. I wish something will happen to him. I wish something will happen there. I wish this and you wish them bad because you're jealous and you can take it. Be careful. Just like you have a good eye and the blessing zoom run away fast to you. When you have an evil eye, chas v'shalom, you wish bad to other people. The Benishchai says, be careful, it comes back to you. You want to hurt other people, it's going to come back to you eventually. You do bad to other people. Don't worry. God, don't forget. God, don't forget. You do bad. Look, nothing happened to me. Two months later, nothing happened to me. And you keep hurting other people. You keep insulting other people. You think you're a big shot. You keep envying and talk bad about other people. And the Ben Ishchai says, don't forget. It's going to hit you back one day. And then when it's going to hit, it's going to strike hard. It's going to hurt. It's not worth it to have evil eye. You want to be the kids of Avraham Avinu? Pirkei Avot says, Ein Tova. Have a good eye. Be happy. And don't always, I don't know, always complaining, always this, always that. We don't gain. We don't gain nothing from it. Miyuchad b'midat Ein Tova. A person is happy. For other people, and you're not jealous and envy, and that's all you think all day. Tamid to metikut. Life is is sweet. Neimut is pleasure. Simcha is happiness. Panim meirot. Your face, your face looks different. You look a different person. Put in front of you, put in front of you two people. One person that they cannot stand the world having it good is jealous at every other person. And the one next to him doesn't care. I'm happy for other people. I am happy for other people. Look at this lady. Oh, I wish I could look like her. Oh, I wish I had a hair like her. Oh, I wish I was a toe like her. Oh, I was good looking like her. Oh, this, oh, that. You can't sleep. All you do is you wish to be her. I put a lady next to her. I'm happy for her. Baruch Hashem. God made her beautiful. God created that. I'm so happy for her. Look at those two women in front of you. You want to tell me you see same faces? The face looks the same? The Torah says, no, 100% not. The one that's jealous, look at her face. And the one that's happy, 
for other people, look at her face. And the Torah says, Yesh la panim me'irot. Your face shiny, glory. Your face looks so content. Your face looks so... And the other person, you, you, you look at her and you're like, are you okay? What happened? You look, something bothers you? Yes, jealous constantly. You can't take it. Tatchil lirot. It's a tzad hatov. Shebechol davar. Look at the world positive. Start looking at this world positive. You want to look at the bad things? There is billion things to look bad. You want to be depressed all day? You want to be sad all day? That's all you want to do, hear the news? Who raped, who killed, who murdered, who steal, who uh, impeded his leg, who is in the hospital, who cancer, who this? You want to look at all the bad things in the world? I'll give you a list from now till the end of the world. But the Torah says, why? Why you choose to look at all the bad things in the world when you can choose to look? People go on vacation, they go to Cancun, they go to Bahamas, this one had a baby boy, this one had a baby girl, oh, this one just got married, this one had a bar mitzvah, this one had this, this one bought a new car, this one had a new house, this one make more panasa money, this one, look at the positive. Look at the world, could be a beautiful place. No, you choose to look at the world as a dark place. You're jealous. You're jealous. You can't take it that other people have more than you. So you can't sleep at night. All you think is like, I'm going to have a house like them. How am I going to make money like them? How am I going to look like her? How am I going to have this? I'm... How are you going to have a happy life? How are you going to be a happy person if you're jealous all day? Lama ta olech lo kol hayom? Lama panim zoafot? Why your face look like, I don't want to look at his face. You always look angry. You always look like something bothers you. You always look like you, you're ready to fight with someone. Because you're jealous. Because you're jealous. But if you start to work on, hey, wait a second. What's wrong with me? Hey, Bishte. He knows what he's doing. What I'm doing, I envy the whole world. I, I'm just at every other person I see in the street. What I'm doing? Panim zoafot, your face always look bitter. Le'aneach al kol davar. You sight all day. Oh, 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 oh. Why, why are you all day? Oof, oof. Stop. That's the way you want to live till 120? It's that's the you think God create you for that? You think God create you to to sight all day? Oh, 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 oh. Well, stop, stop, must speak, must speak. Be positive. Lo so what? If things don't go your way, so what? There is I told you many times. There is your way, and there is God's way. One of you is right, one of you is wrong. Well, we know who's right and who's wrong. I don't have to tell you. Things don't go your way. As makara, as makara, so what? Hashem knows the best. This is Hashem's way. Im lo lech kirtzono oi vaavoi atzuv mabat koder bitter, sad, not happy, depressed. Why? Things don't go your way. Excuse me. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe God knows a little bit more than you. Maybe God knows better. Can you give God a little bit more credit? Who says your way is the best way? Who says your way is the smart way? Why are you upset at God? Oh, God could not give me a, a kid like the other woman. I want so many kids. I, I want to be married already. I want to have money. How come God don't do this? How come God don't do that? Yeah, we have a lot of complaints to God. But don't forget, you're only human and he's God. When you be God and he be human, we'll talk. But so far, he's God and we're only human. So he knows a little bit more than us. But you can't take it. The jealousy kills you. It's not fair. 
it's not fair. I, I, I'm smarter than her. I'm better than her. I'm this. I'm that. How come this and how come that? Billions of questions. You know you can save all this headache? You can save all this headache. Start. Just, just start being happy for other people. Don't question God. Don't question God. God, I'm praying so much. So much tehillim. So much zdaka. What I'm asking you, what I'm asking to be married, is that hard for you, Hashem? You think Hashem doesn't want you to be married? You think Hashem doesn't want to give you all the money in the world? You think Hashem is not kind enough to make everything the best for you? But He has His ways. He's God. He knows everything. We know nothing. He knows everything. And nothing questioning everything. Does it make sense? Nothing questioning everything? You know nothing. Even what you think that you know, compared to God, it's nothing. And yet we have the guts to say, oh, it's not fair, and how come? And the Torah says, Aramchal Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzato Alav Shalom. He says, I have advice for you. Do what Pirkei Avot said. Ain Tova. Start having Ain Tova for people. Start being happy for other people. If they have money, be happy. They have this, be happy for them. How come they go vacation every other month? Stop. Stop. Please. Please. Stop. Be happy they go vacation every other month, every two months. Who knows? Ma ikhpatlach. Ma ikhpatlach. Why do you care? Be happy for them. Says Arav Meir Chadash. And we'll end with this part one. Says Arav Meir Chadash. When he finished giving his shiur to hundreds of people, Allah wa shalom, he says, I want you to know that you have a mistake. And what is, what's the mistake? He said, I heard someone saying, oh, the class just finished. And he says, it's a mistake. The class just started. You hear this class. And 22 minutes pass already. And it's finished. The class didn't finish. Whatever you are listening to now, it's not the end. Now it's starting. Go work on it. Says Arav Meir Chadash, don't go to shiurim. Don't listen to classes. And when it's over, okay, it was nice half hour. No. The real class is when you hear the shiur and then you ask yourself, okay, I heard this guy. I heard this rabbi. What can I take from it? What shall I start to work on? If you don't do that, you can hear a thousand classes in your life and you stay the same person. You know why? Because you never asked yourself after the class, what can I take from this class? What shall I work on? It was nice. It was okay. It was nice. That's not the reason why hundreds, if not thousands of rabbis around the world giving classes not to entertainment anyone it's not entertainment it's for you to change for me to change a person in your class need to change the torah says we're going to see in part two Be'ezrat Hashem, how much a person damage himself himself you hurt yourself from being jealous nothing tastes good everything is bitter you're always sad nothing goes right for you all the gates of Beracha closed. Is it worth it? And I'm not talking about Chas Shalom, the lowest level, that even to go and to hurt other people, to cause them tsar, to cause them pain, to cause them sorrow. Why? Because you're jealous? Work on yourself. If you be jealous at every other person in the world, you want to hurt everybody? You want everyone to be sad because of you? Because you don't work on your midah? Moray Rabotai. This is the Kin'ah part one, Be'ezot Hashem. We didn't even start yet. And hopefully in part two, we'll go deeper to where the jealousy comes from, 
how to take care of it, but at least for now to know, yes, I have this problem. I will start to work on, at least, I will start to work on, you know what? I'm happy for other people. Yes, I'm happy. Whatever you gain, whatever you have, whatever they have, you know what, Rabbi? You're right. Why should I be sad? Why should I be bitter? Why should I be depressed all day? Opposite. I'm happy for you. Try. Try. Work on it. The Ramchal promise you different life, new life, happier life. Panim meirot. Your face looks different. Your face looks different. From what? Just be happy for other people. Don't jealous. Don't try to hurt them. Don't wish them bad. Be happy for them. You're actually opening your own gates of beracha immediately. Baruch Adonai Amen Amen. Hopefully very soon we'll do part two. Amen.